Hey, Katrina here from Scrappy Horses. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so happy you're here today. I am working on a really fun, tech heavy project today. I'm, you know, I never thought I'd get into the world of uh, tech crafting, but it's sort of fun to venture over here every once in a while. Um, you know, you can always combine it with your you know, your messy crafting, or you can keep it totally clean at the computer. Today, we're gonna do a little gluing and such, but it's not gonna get too messy, but lots of technology. I also am going to leave you links to my favorite techno wizard crafter, and that is Sandy Woodson. This woman is brilliant. And I'll just kind of touch on some easy things today, but if you really want to venture in, she is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And if you reach out to her, she's so happy to help you. So I will leave you links to her Facebook page as well as her YouTube channel. All right, moving on with our pony. I went ahead and brought in this pony or horse from a quilted Christmas. All I did was I clicked images, typed in horse. I, I know I purchased this horse and right there he is. I click, add to canvas, and that's the same horse, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and delete this guy since we've already brought him in. Gonna move this down here. Gonna make him bigger so we can see what we're doing. I want to bring in some shapes here. I want to bring in an oval and a circle. I'm going to start out with this oval. And I'm going to rotate it. And what I'm trying to do is cover up as much of my pony here as I can. So I'm gonna come in and get about this much. I'm gonna see if I can rotate this a little more because of the angle we're coming in at. And now I'm gonna bring the circle and cover his little nose. The eventual goal is to slice this away, all right? So what I wanna do is combine these two gray, the oval and the circle. So I'm gonna click circle. I'm going to shift at my keyboard. I'm holding down my shift key while I click oval. That's the same thing as sweeping over those two at the same time, but we're not catching the horse with it. See, here's the horse down here. He's not included. So we have the circle and the oval. We're going to combine weld. Now we're going to sweep over our funny little shape here and our horse, and we're going to say slice. And there's our shape. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of all of this because we don't need that anymore. Make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna change my angle a little bit. And I wanna take away some of these things. I don't necessarily need the halter and the eye and the little nose. All right, so let's change that. Let's get rid of all of these. And then we hit the X. There we go. And it is gone. Now let's get rid of this too, the little hair here. There we go. All right, so it's going to cut these, but not the other. I'm gonna lighten this up a little bit, maybe to about right there. And I think actually I'm gonna change it to brown, sort of a gray brown. There we go. All right, now here's the part that we have to sort of figure out how we're gonna get this into our word generator and get it so that it will just do what we're gonna, we want the words inside our horse, okay? So what we're going to do 
is we're going to come up to the little person emblem and we're going to click with our mouse. We're going to click settings. We're going to click canvas, no grid, done. We're going to make our screen bigger. Now we are going to command shift four on our keyboard. I'm holding it all down at the same time. We can get a screenshot now. So we're going to screenshot him. And there he is. All right. And on my computer, he's going to pop up right up here in just a minute. We're going to take that over now to this word art, wordart.com. You do not have to sign up to do this, all right? And you're gonna hit create free word cloud. And this is what's gonna come up and you're gonna click blank, okay? Now, I signed up, so this is what's gonna come up after you click the next part, okay? After you click blank, this is what comes up, okay? So we want to bring in a shape. So we are going to say plus image. It is on our PC. It is the screenshot that we just did open. Okay, there it is. We're going to say add. Next, we're going to come in and we're going to start putting in words, all right? So for my friend that I'm going to make this, I am going to type in, um, let's see, I'm gonna type in, she is a nurse. She is a wife. She is a mother. She is a caretaker. She is, you can just list all the words that you want to use, okay? So I'm just gonna start typing here. Okay, so I've come up with a list of words that I think describe my friend. And now I'm going to go in and change some fonts around. So what I did is I just basically came in and just just sort of shook them up here. You know, I, I didn't really choose anything um, on purpose. And then if I saw something I didn't like after I did it, then I went in and changed that. So you can play with this as much as you like. Actually, bubblegum is a really fun one. So let's do uh, bubblegum for the word fun. That just makes sense. Let's see, there it is. Okay, so then you just come up and click visualize. And there it is. So there are some things here I don't like. I don't like the font on wife. So let's try something different for that and say visualize. All right, is there anything else? Not loving mother for her. So I'm going to change that. Say visualize. You can go through and kind of pick them up here. Not sure I love leader there. Let's change that one. I'll be honest, I'm not super familiar with all of these fonts. So, you know, I'm not just real sure how they're gonna turn out. All right, now, let's see. You can change the angle of these. There are all kinds of things you can do. And I'll be honest, I have not played with that very much. You can also play with your color. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make them all just a little darker here. Okay, so what if we came in and hit the default? Yes, we can change them all to that. Apply. So 
so they're all darker. So I'm going to do that. Doesn't look like I can do them all at once. There might be a way, but I don't know it. Wow, oh, that nurse is really big. Let's um, let's change that from the bold to that. Oh, I don't like that script. That's kind of fun. I'm gonna go with that. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to export PNG free. And now this is gonna show up in my downloads folder. So I'm gonna bring it over here. Here it is. I'm gonna set it right there. Let's move this off a little bit. And there it is. Now, let me show you something else you can do here. You can do the same thing. You can click this image and you can edit it. And you can say negative. I just want to show you this because I think this is fun. Say add. Now watch what happens. The words show up in the background. I'm going to go ahead and bring that over too. So we're going to go to export and uh, we'll do uh, PNG free and we'll bring that over also. So I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to bring that in and there it is. And I want to keep them both. Okay, so here we are in PhotoP. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our silhouette that we just made. So we're gonna say open from computer, silhouette nurse horse, open, and there it is. So what we wanna do is we wanna get rid of all this white that is around. So we will click select, click color range, Click OK. I'm going to leave this set at 40. Click OK. On your keyboard, click your delete key. Go back to select menu and click deselect. To export it, you are going to click File, Export As, you want to export this as a PNG. Then you're going to click Save, which is right here. That is going to show up in your, um, in your folder. And there it is. Keep both. All right. Back to where we're familiar with life. And that's our Cricut Design Space. First thing I want to do is get out of here, go to our settings, go back to our canvas, full grid, and done. And we want to pop this back down to a size that we like. All right, now we can come back to upload. We're going to upload this image, complex, continue. Apply and continue. This is the one we want because it's going to print. And I'm going to call this Silhouette Nurse Horse. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, do a command copy. Go ahead and put that in here. Separate by commas. And I'm going to add word art. And make sure you click this one and upload. Now, while we're here, I want to go ahead and upload this one also. All right, so upload image. And here we go. Complex. Continue. Apply. We're going to take that one. Um, and this is the rectangle. I'm going to do a Command-V from what we had before. OK, 
Okay, and we're going to upload. We're going to select these two and add to Canvas. All right, so now we have a couple of options what we'd like to do with this, all right? First option is we can come in and work with this one. But first, I'm going to make a copy of this. So Command C, Command V. All right, we're going to leave this one right here for a second. I think you can already see what we're going to do over there. With this one, we're going to bring this in. We're just going to set it right over. And don't panic if it doesn't fit exactly. It's okay. It doesn't matter. We're going to change our horse to white. So let's just choose him. I'm going to make him white. There we go. Well, let's pump this up so we can see just a little better. So what we're going to do now is we're going to offset this. So we have this slice result. We're going to offset it at 0 0.056. And let's say apply. There it is. We're going to turn that one white. Now we're going to take that and we are going to flatten. So there is one option. Okay, so now what we can do with that is we could make it into a card, we can make it into a showpiece, you know, like a little something our friend could, you know, set up in their home, um, whatever you want to do with that. So just so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like, let's just bring in a shape and let's make it, um, oh, let's make it blue, send it to the back, and you can see how that would look sitting on there. All right, so let's set that aside for a minute. Let's bring this one over now. So what we can do with this one is let's go back and let's put his contour back in. There we go. All right, let's copy him, command copy, command V. Let's take him and let's take hide all contours. All right. So now we can stick this here. We can make this whatever color you like. Um, let's just do it black for now. And now we're going to move him to the front. Stick that up there. There you go. So we have a couple of fun options here. Now, if you want to make this bigger, here's what you need to do. You need to grab it all at the same time so that it will fit. Make sense? All right, now let's do this. Let's go ahead and get rid of, I told you that we could get rid of this edge if we didn't want it. So we're going to make this bigger so we can see. And all you have to do now is pull in a shape, a square, and it's almost easier to see it here than it was over there, and slice. At this point, we're just going to go ahead and repeat that process on the remaining three sides. And you can use this on any image that you want to crop. Now we have a couple of options here to work with at the craft table. I am choosing to work with the one on the right, and we're gonna take that over to the craft table, and you're gonna be able to see what we're gonna do with this now that we've created it. I'm choosing to use some very thick hemp cord, a couple of wide eyelets from We Are Memory Keepers, and then I offset that little word art pony. My paper there is old paper from close to my heart, and I've got a piece of scrap brown, as well as a piece of sort of a colonial white. I'm gonna come in and use some retired ink colors and just ink up some edges. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my close to my heart pretty paper 
to the, um, I believe it's really cashmere and not colonial white. I'm going to come in now. I've marked some spots on this brown and I am punching holes with my crop dial and now I will set my eyelids. First I will need to erase the little marks I made and then I will set my eyelids. My best tip on this is don't squeeze tightly on these unless your paper is pretty thick. All right, we're coming in now and we're gonna have to build up this pony because I'm gonna run cord between the eyelets and this cord is some chunky, chunky cord. I ended up, I believe it was like six layers of um, cereal box to get that pony up and over that cord without it, um, the cord showing through the paper. So you'll see here in a minute what I'm talking about. So here we are, we're gonna run this cord through and we have a double layer of it. And then I'm just gonna tie this off at the top here in a bow. Now before I tie it off, I'm gonna go ahead and catch that underneath cord so that it all ties together into one neat little piece there. All right, so now when I did this, I figured out, oh wait, this is still bending over the cord. It's still sticking up. So that's how much I ended up with in cereal board. Okay, I just kept cutting and cutting and cutting. But you can see there that I have a channel there for the twine to go through. I'll go ahead and add some double score tape and some fabric tack, and then I will glue those on to the back of our little horse head, and we'll set that aside, and it will be ready when the time comes to uh, glue it onto the front of the project. The back. All right, I learned my lesson, and I knew it was gonna take several layers, so I just started out by gluing two pieces of cereal box board together. Then I just cut triangles and glued those triangles together. I was able to get it done with just four layers. So two layers of a double cereal board. Does that make sense? So I just took that over to my paper slicer and just sliced triangles and glued them into place. So here we are, we have them all cut. I've glued them together. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue them onto the back of our frame. We'll call it a frame, I guess, for our little horse. And again, it creates that channel for the twine to go through and it'll sit nice and flat then on top of there. Okay. So I will go ahead and now add some double score and some fabric tack. The fabric tack over the double score gives me wiggle room. So if I don't place it exactly right, I can scooch it around just a little bit. I do not have that luxury if I just use score tape. If I just use the glue, it doesn't have a very quick grab and I have to wait. So that's why I use both. All right, I used some scraps of that cereal board cut it about two inches by four, or actually it's about an inch and a half by four. I'm scoring it at one inch. This is going to make an easel for the back so that my little piece will stand up like a photo frame. I'll go ahead and use my tape and glue and just adhere it, and we are basically finished. All we have to do now is glue the, the front decor piece onto our little frame. All right. That finishes our project for today. I know this was an intense video and I thank you so much for sticking with me on this one because there was a lot of information. Any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Uh, come join us at the Cut It Up Challenge. We'd love to see you there. Remember to include a die cut. I'll catch up with you in the next video. Bye.